Pune. It is the second largest city in the Indian state of Maharashtra and is one of the fastest growing cities in the Asia Pacific region. Considered to be the cultural capital of Maharashtra, Pune is known as Oxford of the East due to the presence of several well-known educational institutions in the city. The city is known for its manufacturing and automobile industries as well as for research institutes of information technology, education, management and training. Undoubtedly, there is a huge scope for improvement in the socio-economic upliftment of this region and we have ready resources available to do so. However, the surrounding resources are not properly utilized. The storage of water has been started in Gunzoni Dam, but it is not utilized for agriculture because distribution network is incomplete due to inadequate funds. The Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinche Yojana has been formulated with the vision of extending the coverage of irrigation, Har Khet Kopani, and improving water use efficiency. More crop per drop in a focused manner with end-to-end -end solution on source creation, distribution, management, field application, and extension activities. Supporting this cause, we truly believe that we can convert this existing Swarajya into Surajya by supplying the available water to the farmer. The project consists of earthen dam with side spillway. Maximum height of dam is 53 meters. Storage of 104 million cubic meters which is 3.67 TMC. Annual utilization is 118 million cubic meters which is 4.19 TMC. The spillway has two radial gates. The project also offers some features which collectively make it a truly unique project. Water will be available 24 by 7 throughout the year. Piped irrigation network up to the farm. Water can be seen only either in the dam or at the root of the crop. Minimum 20 meters pressure head at each farm of 3 hectares. Command area is 21,392 hectares in Velhe, Por and Purandar. Out of this, 12,872 hectares is a drought prone area in Bhor and Purandar Taluka. Narayanpur lift irrigation system of two stages with head up to 281 meters. Command area of Narayanpur lift irrigation system is 5,400 hectares. The system is fully automated and with edge SCADA system. 173 water user associations planned. This project is divided into two parts. The first part is the first one of its kind in India. It's a stretch of 86 kilometers main pipeline covering 16,000 hectares, which is approximately 75% of the command area and works on the gravitational head of the dam. Since there is no energy used in this system, a huge saving in the power is achieved. Despite the absence of power, the system is capable of providing minimum pressure required for drip irrigation. The second part is a lift irrigation scheme named Narayanpur, which starts from 58 kilometers of main pipeline. The water is lifted through pumping at a height of 150 meters. This irrigates 5,400 hectares of land in the Purandar Taluka. This project offers an automated, pressurized, equitable distribution network which is ready for micro-irrigation for an area up to 3 hectares. The unique feature of this project is that it makes the water available 24 by 7 for irrigation throughout the year to the farmer. We have thus improved the water efficiency up to 35% by changing from the conventional way of open canal irrigation to pipe distribution network. This transformation has also recorded a massive cost reduction of 30%. Additionally, a known social and economic challenge of land acquisition can be overcome by using this system as against using the conventional way. Considering an adequate supply of water, the quality and quantity of crops can be drastically improved. This in turn can enhance the social upliftment of the farmers in this project area.
this will also have a positive impact on Pune's market. This project comprises of various advanced technologies like equitable distribution of water and pressure through outlet management system, central control and monitoring by HSCADA and the distribution management system. Water meters at 24 hectares chuck. Primary and secondary auto filters have been installed which are necessary for drip irrigation. Residual pressure at 24 hectares chuck ready for drip irrigation. Remotely controlled up to 3 hectares sub chuck with a centrally located unit. Wireless energyless communication system by radio or GPRS. Vandalism alerts. SMS alerts to farmers. Officials can access the system through internet on their computers or smartphones. Reports and data log available on computer. Smart devices like outlet management system, distribution management system, etc. This main pipeline crosses the Mumbai Bangalore National Highway at 35 km and the railway line at 69 km. The crossings will be constructed with modern techniques like push method without interrupting the moving vehicular traffic. Soft skills training to water user associations will be imparted. It is planned to form 173 water user associations on 892 chucks. Each water user association will be having a monitoring station, come office, come training center. All these modern techniques are to be taught to water user association members. Special trainings will be organized for these members. Cost economics show a huge saving of Rs 177 crores due to pipe irrigation network. Fertile land perpetually saved in command area is 1200 hectares, which minimized construction resistance, improved the ease of construction and reduced completion period.